friends hope you're all doing well um we want to take some time to examine the claims of jesus which are popularly known as the i am claims that jesus made um during his ministry here on earth today we will be looking at um his claim which in which he states that he is the bread of life let's read that verse John chapter 6 and verse 35 And Jesus said to them I am the bread of life He who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst Now this statement of Jesus was made when people were following him for bread A little before this Jesus had multiplied bread and he had felt he had fed multitudes and so people knew that there was some supernatural or if you want to call it magical ability which jesus had to make bread and uh, anyone who went with him would probably have um you know free bread uh, available at any given point in time and so this is what drew some people to jesus and they followed him but jesus clarified for them bread fills up our hunger um it is you know a source of nourishment to our bodies but jesus clarified and uh, no he said that you no know, the bread that you are looking for that's a bread that can satisfy you temporarily but notice he says i am the bread of life So he is giving an eternal perspective to their quest and their question and he's saying um that he is able to um quench you know their or, or you know he's able to satisfy their eternal hunger now let's um continue to look at this so Jesus is stressing on the spiritual over the natural this is not to say that the natural is not important um definitely he was compassionate he revealed the uh, compassionate heart of god by multiplying bread and feeding the hungry multitude so it was important to god and it is important to god but what is more important is to uh, satisfy our spiritual hunger and that's that's where jesus was pointing the people and he wanted them to know that the life giving bread or this eternal life giving bread uh, is him and it, when they come to him not only will their physical hunger be satisfied but also their spiritual hunger now um we therefore understand that jesus is claiming to be the source of he says life giving the source of life the source of the god kind of life you know there is a a god kind of life which is talked about in scripture which is uh, beyond what we see here as earthly life it's an abundant life it's a blessed life it's a victorious life it's an overcoming life and that is the kind of life which jesus was offering uh, people and jesus came to give us that kind of life through salvation So Jesus claimed and this his claim was quite direct and he says I am the bread of life. So he's pointing to himself and he's saying that he is the very source of life and we know that the kind of life that Jesus came to give us it's not limited only to this earthly life but it is eternal as well. So um Jesus's claim that he is the bread of life satisfies the satisfies every hungry heart and uh, that's what god wants god wants every hungry heart to be satisfied through his son jesus christ let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for giving us your son jesus who is the bread of life lord we pray that every need of our hearts lord be satisfied by him lord Thank you Lord. Thank you for providing in full. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.